I typically use the Never Sink Strict Loot Filter, but after getting the Tier 16 maps, three things in particular made it a nuisance. First, way more rare bases were dropping. In a trade league, I didn't need to collect 1 to 5c rare bases with no influences. I could just buy them to craft. Second, way too many uniques were dropping. I found myself always picking them up and price checking with my Awakened Trade macro, only to find that the vast majority were 1 ALK to 1c. Finally, upon killing an influenced boss such as Al Hesman or the Purifier, a shitload of influenced bases would fall all at once. If I was bored and sober, which is very rare for me playing the game, I would pick them all up and check the bases, check the mods, etc. Usually they'd be worth 1c, right? If I was rushing maps and sober, I'd often pick up everything and just throw it into my stash to check later. This led to stash tabs just full of junk. And finally, if I was rushing maps and drinking, I would just grab the rings, amulets, and belts and still throw them into my stash but leave everything else on the ground without even bothering to check. I thus decided to create my own loot filter. It was more of an undertaking than I realized. The general theme of my filter is that everything is ranked according to one of four tiers and that literally everything that drops is worth picking up, at least to check but usually to keep. Good drops are yellow and marked with the map on a circle. Great drops are marked with stars and ranked from blue to green to the best in white and red. This was applied to all items from currency to uniques to div cards. Don't worry, good synthesized and fractured bases will still show. Quest items retain their black background with green print and are marked with a pentagon. This includes everything listed here. Maps retain the white to green to blue to yellow theme, but are marked on the map with squares, varying by map color itself. Low red, yellow, and white maps are smaller and can be ignored, but some people may still want to collect them for completing the atlas or for new characters in the league. Blighted and Delirious maps in particular are marked with a special unique purple color. Here's what I'm most proud of. When I take out the purifier here, only these two items highlight. And all these Elder Drops were filtered out. They're all worth like 1 to 3c, even if you check them against the mods that they're rolled. But that Elder Vial Arrow Quiver? Worth 30 to 50c unidentified. I painstakingly checked valuable bases using the trade site, poe.ninja, filter blade strict recommendations, and my own game knowledge to make a filter in which all drops are worth picking up. I'll have to update it league to league, but for now a download link is available below. That particular unique base is not valuable when it was filtered out. 